we have the governor of Arizona, Jan Brewer. Uh, of course, she's the one that signed in the law that uh, law in Arizona saying that if the cops detain you for, or stop you, actually, for any reason, uh, they can detain you and arrest you if you don't show them papers. I don't know who cares, carries around their birth certificate, but apparently that's what they're expecting in Arizona. Some people are obviously aggrieved about this because they think that it's going to apply to Latinos a little bit more than the rest of us. Fairly decent guess, if you ask me. Uh, but Jan Brewer does not like uh, the derogatory terms that have been thrown her way. And she says, quote, the Nazi comments, they are awful. And apparently some people called her uh, uh, Nazi uh, Jan or whatever. Now, first of all, let's not get into the Nazi stuff. Uh, it's, it's not right. I, I, I'm not happy with it when the right does it or the left does it. Okay? Uh, but here comes the interesting part. She says, uh, knowing that my father died fighting the Nazi regime in Germany, that I lost him when I was 11 because of that, and to have them call me Hitler's daughter, it hurts. It's ugliness beyond anything I've ever experienced. All right, fair enough. Except I was thinking, oh, that's weird. 11 years old, you lost your father. So I, I looked up Jan Brewer. Turns out she was born in 1944. So uh, when she was 11, that would have been 1955. I don't know if some Nazis were hanging around, you know, ready to ambush her dad 11 years after the war ended or 10 years after the war ended. Now, that's a curious time, right? Well, it turns out, of course, uh, that the Arizona Guardian looked into it, and the uh, father uh, died 10 years after World War II. And during the war, uh, he had worked as a civilian supervisor of Naval uh, Munitions Depot. That's very important, and uh, it's, you don't minimize that at all. Okay, that's a very important position. Uh, that munitions depot was in Hawthorne, Nevada. Okay, now again, very important. You need somebody to supervise the munitions depot. He fought in the war. I got no problems with that. That's fantastic. Part of the greatest generation, etc. Here's what didn't happen: a Nazi killing him at a munitions depot in Nevada, let alone magically ten years after the war. Okay, so. And he died of lung disease, in fact, we know, in 1955 in California. So how does that figure? Well, Jan says, well, look, uh, her father, quote, eventually died from the toxic fumes he inhaled while working at the factory in Nevada while fighting the Nazis in Germany in Hawthorne. No, 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 no. this is, Jan, th that's when you let it go. And you say, hey, you know what, my father was in the war, that's kind of what I was referring to, I misspoke a little bit. And you just try to move on in a panic, okay? You don't say, oh, no, 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 it's because there was a Nazi who launched a thing with a depot in Nevada and then the lung cancer and then, you know, and I noticed shortness of breath three years after the war. And then... Come on, Jan, come on, you're being ridiculous. So she made that part up. Look, and, and politicians are crazy. Democrats do this too, of course, right? Why do you get yourself in trouble like this? Why do you say things that are obviously not true that, that the press is going to get on? I mean, do you think what nobody's doing their job? I guess that's what they think. But you know that there are, now, if they're used to the mainstream press, okay. But you know there are bloggers on both sides who are now trying to find everything you say that's wrong. And, but here, give credit to the Arizona Guardian for figuring out this awfully obvious um, made-up story by Governor Brewer.